Monopoly money. <laughs> Fucking ridiculous. I'll put my iPod on shuffle on the way over here. And you know when you do that, sometimes you get a really good mix of songs, and other times your iPod just fucks you in the ass? Yeah. I got fucked in the ass. Big time. And it was raining, and I didn't want to pull it out and change the song, so I was forced to listen to Bedrock by Young Money. And I never really, like, listened to the song, and I heard Nicki Minaj say, Maybe it's time to put this pussy on your sideburns. Maybe it's time for me to put my balls on your eyebrows, Nicki Minaj. <laughs> So you're going to enjoy that just as much as I'm going to enjoy pussy on my sideburns. Whenever a woman asks me what time it is, my response has never been. You know what, baby? It's time to put that pussy on my sideburns. <laughs> Two and a half to three, by the way. It's pussy on the sideburns time, in case you did not know. <laughs> There's a lot of places she can put that pussy, though. You know what I mean? She put it on my fingers. <laughs> Put it on my elbows and my knees. <laughs> Preferably, she'll put it on my penis. <laughs> my sideburns? Listen, bitch, I got a job interview at Ruby Tuesdays in 45 minutes. And I'm not trying to walk in there with my face smelling like red lobster. <laughs> <laughs> That's just not good for the workplace. I'm like, you're never going to get a job like that. It's fucking gross. On my way, uh, as I, I was driving a few days ago. And I'm a bit of a speed demon. I'm talking like I go 75 in residential areas. And my neighbor's always telling me to slow down. He's always like, yeah, hey, slow down, someone's gonna get hurt. And I looked at him and I was like, yeah. And this motherfucker throws a garbage can in front of my car. Now I'm pissed. I get out and I'm ready to fuck this guy. And before I can even get a word out of my mouth, he just goes, and what if that had been a kick? Makes a good point. I looked at him and I was like, the fuck you doing throwing kids in front of cars, man? <laughs> and without skipping a beat, this guy just goes, oh yeah? Well, you like dicks in your ass. <laughs> it's just my opinion. And I looked at him and I was like, well played, sir. Because you don't beat you like dicks in your ass. You just don't. Nothing tops that. But unfortunately, that drive didn't get any better. Because I had to go on 76. And something crazy always happens to me when I'm on this road because it's the worst road to ever create. So I'm running a little late. I cut this guy off. And he goes out of his way to catch up with me. Pumps the sword so I can no longer ignore him. And when I look over, he's giving me one of these. What happened to the finger? Since when is this not enough to let me know how angry and frustrated you are with me? I mean, like, there's usually an escalation to situations like that. You know what I mean? You give me the finger, you give me the hands, then you tell me to suck a big dick. No, you don't go right for the gusto. So Cold Steve Austin doesn't start out a fucking wrestling match with a stutter. No, you gotta beat the guy up first. You gotta warm it up. This guy really took both hands off the wheel, risked his own life going 75 miles an hour just to tell me to suck a big dick. <laughs> Can we look at this thing for a second, guys? This is huge. This is perfect. It took two hands to hold this thing. It's obviously a black man's dick because it ain't mine. I mean, it'll be the best two inches she's ever had, but that's neither here nor there. This motherfucker, Triple Dog, dared me to one up him. So I did. I looked at him and I gave him one of these. That was my impression of Nicki Minaj putting a pussy on my sideburns. And that's my time, guys. I'm Chris Whitehair. Thank you very much.